when you get to the professional world, sometimes you will be tasked to do things like create letters and communication and send it out to multiple people. When you have to send it to a couple of people, like two to three, maybe five people, that task is quite simple. But if you have to send it to maybe 10 people to 100 people, now that can become a daunting task but with some techniques and tips we can make it simpler and we can make it even automatic like magic and for that we will be doing what we call mail merge what is mail merge mail merge is a feature that is in microsoft word and even other software similar to microsoft word and what it does is that it automates the process of creating personalized documents and sending it to multiple recipients. So if you have to send personalized documents to 100 people, maybe 10, or even just a couple of people, if you want it to be automatic, we use mail merge. So for example, your company is running a promo campaign and you're tasked to create personalized letter mails to your most loyal customers regarding this promo. So you have to create the letter and make it personalized and send it to them individually so how do we do that on the left side of our screen we have the letter for the promo campaign and on the right side of our screen we have the data for our loyal customers so of course we want this to be personalized that means we have to change this name we have to change this address of course this name as well we have to change it and the promo codes to begin we have to go to the ribbon and go to the mailings tab and then select start mail merge now we have here multiple options for our mail merge but for the simple ones we just select letters after that we select the recipients now there are two ways to do this number one if we already have an excel file containing our data we can do that we just select recipients and use an existing list if you already have a ready-made excel file if not we select type a new list and for this video we are going to be starting from scratch so we have to type a new list and as soon as you select that a table will appear and here is where we will input all of the entries as we can see from the right side of our screen we don't have data for titles so we just skip that we begin by going to the first name typing out the first name of the first customer their last name and then company name we skip that address line one is 23 address line two city now going through the labels we don't see any label for province what we can do is go to the bottom of the table and select customize columns and now we will see all of the labels we don't have a label for province so we can just add another one or rename one in this case we can rename the state to province and click ok now we can see that we have a column for province and we can input their province now for the code again this is a this is a template that means it won't always have a column for a code but we can rename another one for what we need and scrolling through we can see where we can input the code after you're done with the first customer press new entry and you can enter the data for the next customer and then new entry
Now let's pause here. Press OK and save it. Let's say promo campaign letter. Let's name it promo campaign letter and save it. And let's test out if our mail merge works. The next step is to insert the merge fields. The ribbon, go back to your mailings tab and look for insert merge field. And here, if we press it, you will see all of the labels. And if we select one and press insert, you will see that it will be inserted where our cursor was. Okay? So let's remove that. And to properly do it, let's remove all of these lines. And insert merge field. Select first name, close, space, last name. And insert close let's remove the highlight and here let's put the address line one after the address line one let's put the address line two and here let's put the city And for Metro Manila, let's put the province column or label. Okay. And for Juan, of course, replace it with the, the merge field for the first name. And let's just remove Juan. And for the promo code, let's remove the highlight again. Insert merge field and select discount code. Okay, and let's remove it. Okay. After inserting the merge fields, we can preview our results by going back to the mailings tab, select preview results, and you can see Arnold Reyes, 23 Sierra Street, Alabang, Muntinlupa, Metro Manila. And we can see Dear Arnold. And then at the bottom, we have used the promo code ABC123. Okay. Now to check for the other recipients, let's just go back to the mailings tab. And next to the preview results are some arrows. The right arrow will lead us to the next recipient. And we can see that. It shows Arlene Diaz, Rain Street, Calamba Laguna, Dear Arlene, use the promo code. And we can cross-reference it to our data from the right side of our screen to check if it is correct. To check for the third entry, let's click the right arrow again. And you can see Sam Smith, O'Connor Street, Cubao, Quezon City, Metro Manila. Finally, to complete the mail merge, go back to the mailings tab, finish mail merge, and you can either print the documents, send them as email messages, or edit it individually. And that is how to do a simple mail merge.